everybody. Um, I'm here today to show you a MacBook Pro Retina, late 2013, 13 inch screen, hooked up to three external displays. So we've got four displays going, including the one on the Retina. And I was trying to figure out how to do this and everywhere I went online, you know, basically said it couldn't be done. And uh, I thought uh, there's a lot of people looking and I'd show you at least how at least I got it done. So let's start with the Retina. Um, the Retina is a pretty low end 13 uh, inch Retina. You can see here it's 2.4 gigahertz only and eight gigabytes of memory. So it's not even the high end 13 inch Retina. And what I have it hooked up to is three Apple Cinema HD displays. These displays are literally uh, 10 to 12 years old. I think they were introduced around 2002, discontinued, I think, around 2004, 2005. Um, the reason was these displays have just one cord coming out called an ADC or Apple Display Connector Cable. Apple invented this and basically everything comes out of the monitor in one cord. So in that cord, it carries analog and digital video, it carries USB, and it is the power cord. So of course, you need a computer with an ADC plug and nobody makes those anymore. The last time Apple made one, uh, I think it was a single processor G5 um, desktop computer that they introduced at the end of 20, 2004 and they discontinued it in the middle of 2005. Um, so these are monitors are quite old, but they're quite great. They're 23 inch screens. They were, they are 1920 by 1200 resolution. And each one of them has a, has two USB plugs in the back. Um, and they're good looking too. They, you know, Apple does a good job of that kind of stuff. Okay. So because we don't have an ADC plug on our retina, uh, and nobody does basically, unless you got an old G5 or something. Um, in order to get these to work on anything else, Apple created what they call this, the DVI to ADC adapter. It's basically just a big power brick, it's a, and it's pretty big. This is like six, seven inches. You can see how thick it is. That's where the ADC plug goes in. And by the way, it is powered. Let's just call it the brick. Um, and out comes USB and DVI. Okay, uh, and something else about these. These things get pretty hot. Uh, there must be some type of transformation going on in there that's throwing off heat. And uh, they also throw off a pretty good size electromagnetic field, considering they're only 110 volt. So between the heat and uh, the magnetics, you don't want to be sitting that on your lap uh, to stay warm. Let's put it like that. Um, they do get hot. Okay, so every one of these monitors is hooked up to one of these. And it's got the ADC to the brick, and out of the brick comes DVI and um, USB. Okay, now, getting over to the retina, let's talk about what doesn't relate to the video. First thing is, I normally have my speaker uh, thing here. I just moved it to get it out of the way. And also over here, we have the power plugged in. The other thing that doesn't relate to the uh, video is my USB 3, which runs to an Arico powered USB 3.0 four port hub. Now, I get my internet from this. I actually have this coming out. I have my ethernet cable coming in here to a cable matters converter ethernet to usb 3.0 into the hub and into the computer and i'm on a cox system home i get like 35 megabytes download and seven or eight upload speeds which i'm happy with and the other end of this i have a eight hard drive box just a box not a raid thing connected to a 10 foot uh, usb 3.0 cable just so i could have it in a cupboard in the bottom of the desk with the door shut and there's eight hard drives in there running all the time and then the other two uh, USB plugs here are two of them from the monitor because uh, all these monitors have DVI come out and USB. So you can use the USB ports on the back of the monitors if you want. So that's the stuff that doesn't relate to the, uh, the monitors. Uh, one other thing uh, that I should get to now, I have this on a great stand. It's called a high rise for MacBook. It's made by 12 South. And I think I bought this off the Apple website. And what it has, it has like just like a V-shaped gripper <clears throat> And the thing sits at an angle. You can also see it's got a telescoping base. So you can line that up, you know, center it with your monitor for just easy use when you're swiping the mouse across all the monitors, which obviously these work that way. And uh, I can actually show you the real deal here probably. And it stays real cool. The fan does not jack up to high speeds. Um, you know, you sit with one of these retinas on a kitchen countertop like granite or, or something like that. And you pick it up after 20 minutes, half hour, and the bottom's pretty hot, or you sit it on your leg. It doesn't get near that hot uh, in this configuration. 
Um, I've never heard the span, fan running high speed or anything like that. I feel, you know, up underneath here, particularly up in the back, and it seems totally fine. Uh, so I don't have any overheating issues. Um, okay, so let's talk about how we have these hooked up. First, over here in the HDMI plug from the Retina, I just have an HDMI to DVI adapter running into the DVI coming out of the brick. And then, of course, the USB from that brick goes into the four-port USB hub. So that's just HDMI to DVI, DVI to the brick, the brick to the ADC to the monitor. On this end, here we have just a plain display port, mini display port to DVI adapter. That adapter is hooked up to the DVI coming out of the brick. And again, the USB from this brick is going into the four port. The third one, which was the, which was the trick, is a StarTech, essentially an external video card. They say it's a USB 3.0 to DVI adapter, external video card. And here's the box. This card is marketed only for Windows. They don't market it for Mac. Um, it also has a one port uh, USB pass-through, which is good because I was able to plug the third USB from the third monitor. There's the DVI, and that's the USB. So the USB on the backs of all the monitors works just fine. Um, what happens with that uh, adapter is it, they don't sell, StarTech does not have a Mac driver for it, but it turns out that the chips inside that thing are made by a company called Magic Control Technology, MCT. And you can go to their website, mct.com, and you can find a Mac driver that they make for one of their devices that uses the same chips. And um, the one I downloaded was a, uh, I think it's, the file was like T2 Mac install M1228 DMG, and it was made for their U3 A8500 display adapter, and that's on mct.com. So I downloaded and installed the adapter while the thing wasn't connected, restarted the computer, connected it, and poof, monitor number three uh, came up and running with no trouble. Now, the one little thing with, other than that you got to go get your own, your own driver is on the device. Even though they say it's 3.0, and they say it right on the box, the Maverick system, according to the various things I've read, and it may be that the... The uh, hardware people are blaming Apple, and it's not Apple, who knows. But they say that the drivers aren't really up to date on Mavericks for this kind of thing. And if they updated them, the thing would run at 3.0 speeds. But because they haven't updated them, the third monitor only runs at 2.0 speeds. Now, that doesn't bother me. I'm not trying to run, you know, 14-man worldwide video game on that thing. I run Netflix movies, occasionally get a little flicker. There are also a couple little anomalies. Um... Nothing, nothing that's uh, really substantive. Uh, one example is the little apple that's supposed to be here is missing. But if you click where it's supposed to be, it appears, and you can bring up whatever you want, obviously. And here you can see my monitor setup uh, is just fine. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, which I should get in before I forget, the model number of these monitors, because Apple had a few different monitors back then, is M8536. And there's a 23-inch cinema display HD. Okay, so there's a little flicker, and occasionally if you move a window real fast, like particularly if you're moving it from another, uh, another monitor, it can go black for a second. But, you know, I'm doing some programming and web surfing and uh, working on a website, and for me, this thing is perfect. Let's say it's 99%, maybe more. You know, for somebody doing a lot of video gaming, uh, I wouldn't recommend them trying to do it on that monitor unless and until the driver's hooked up. But again, Netflix movies are not an issue. Um, okay, so the StarTech thing runs the third monitor. All three monitors work in conjunction with each other, and I don't have an overheating issue. Uh, everything works great, and um, you know that's really my rig and my gig. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything, but if I have, or if anybody has any questions about how I did or didn't do this, um, oh, there is one thing. Just for the heck of it, not because I care, because I'm happy with my setup, I actually tried to disconnect the HDMI and use um, another connector to get the third monitor coming out of the mini display port instead of HDMI, and this did not work. Now, Apple recommends if you're going to have a multiple monitor setup with all this stuff, 
that you use this, not just a standard little plug like that, you know, uh, display, mini display to DVI, that you use a, this dual link adapter. And uh, the dual link adapter, which I show here, basically uh, from the brick would come in here and then out. You have your mini display port and your USB. Now, I haven't done it because it works fine without it. But, you know, Apple recommends, and again, I don't think they recommend anything about this whole setup. Uh, these old monitors, three of them, and you know, this retina and everything else. But uh, they recommend that you use these, in a, these dual link adapters in a multiple display setup, which obviously it's working fine for me without. Okay, that said, um, this is my gig. Any further, any questions, leave comments with the video. You know, at the bottom, I'll try and check back and answer any questions or comments anybody may have. Thanks.